Hey everybody, welcome to Love My Big Girl Makeup. I'm Christy and it's good to see you. Okay, let's let's just call it out how it is now. Happy Frizz Day to you all. <laughs> it is quite humid here in Texas and I just walked the dogs. My hair was all finished and looked pretty and I came back in and all my curls fell out and now I'm a frizz monster. So it is what it is, but oh well, who cares? Today we're now I've messed it up. I gotta try to fix it. Let's see. It's gonna get frizzier, but maybe if it's all frizzy, it'll work. Let's see. Well, to heck with it. It's the best I can do for now. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh well. Oh, come on. Leave it alone, Christy. You're going to make it worse. And I can't leave it alone. Y'all know I can't. It makes me crazy. Okay, y'all, listen. What we're going to talk about today is um, products that I don't particularly care for. Now, these products may work beautifully for you, but for me, not, it, it's just not my thing. And if it works great for you, wonderful. It just doesn't for me. And so here we go. We're going to start off with the perfume. first perfume that I'm going to spray it is called Miss Chi. And I got this from QVC. And I think it's made by the people who make the Chi the, the hair straighteners. I don't like it. These are products I regret buying. As I said. Uh, first of all, when you first spray it, the smell of alcohol is overwhelming. And then the smell of just... I don't know. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay, so I, I'm going to have a bunch of different items, okay, from different price ranges, from cheap, cheap to more expensive. So there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just pulling out of this bucket, and here we go. Now, you know when they say if a deal looks too good to be true, it usually is? Well, I got... 20 eyeliners and 20 lip liners for $10 from um, a website, and it's crud. They are crud, crud, crud. You have to light them with a lighter to make them work, and that's if you can make them work. It's just horrible, and if I can remember where I purchased these, uh, oh, nomorerack.com. Okay, now what I have found with nomorerack.com is that anything with a name brand turns out to be very good. Anything that you don't know the name, it's crud. That's what I have found. Now, when I called them and told them it was bad or something was broken or whatever, they did replace it, so for that I was thankful. They did give me my money back for these um, because I sent them pictures of me swatching them. You know I did. There's, They didn't work. So... I haven't tossed them out because I wanted you to see. I was just so disgusted. <laughs> okay, so there's those. Here's another product I regret buying. Um, another cheapie. Now, it's not the lipstick's fault. Okay, it's my own fault. It's these Matte Jordana lipsticks. So I shouldn't have added it. I just didn't like the color. That's all. I just don't like the color, so I never use it. I've only swatched it. Eh. Okay, here's a Rimmel eyeshadow quad. Look how pretty. You see a purple and a green and a blue and a black. Well, guess what? They all look black. I don't like that. No, no, no. So, Kaka. Um, let's see. Oh, model in a bottle. Okay, it's a setting spray, it says. I don't know. Uh, I haven't used it in a while. The last time I used it, I don't know. I thought it made my makeup mess up, but I'm going to retry it and see. But that was model in a bottle. I gave one away a long time ago because girls were like, oh, I love that. I love that. So I did a giveaway and gave one away, but I didn't get the big hoo-ha over it. Okay. And then here's the duo. Okay, everybody loves the duo for false lashes. 
Well, guess what? If you're allergic to adhesive or if you're allergic to latex, this is going to eat your eyes off. It ain't my eyes off. This is I bought two tubes because they had them on sale. So I don't even think this tube's ever been opened. I've squashed the heck out of the box, but I'll probably put this in a giveaway because I'm not going to use it. Okay, here's an e.l.f. blush that I bought because a YouTube told me to. And this color is called Mellow Mauve. I have not used it on my face. But I just don't know. I just don't. It just, like, there's really no color payoff for me. There's Mellow Mauve. I, and it doesn't look mauve. I don't know. But I'll figure something out. You know I don't like to uh, not use products. So I'll try to find another way to use the product. Because I, I don't like to waste. Or, of course, I give them away. I give away tons of things. Um, okay. Here's an NYX Spring Fling. Now, isn't this box stunning? I just think the box is glorious. I really do. Then you open it up. And you see, oh, these so pretty spring colors. They're kind of chalky. I never reach for it. Never. Um, I think I've used it maybe twice, maybe. I don't know. But guess what I do use out of it? I absolutely love the blush. And I love the um, white in here. I use that as well. And I, occasionally I've even used the black. But I love this part of the kit. And I will use this. I just, if I had to repurchase again, it wouldn't happen. Mm. I'm not much into pastels. And uh, they just, I don't know. I'm just not so impressed. Yeah. Yeah. But if you love it, great. It's just for me. Now, like I said, I use everything a little bit here or there. Even if I don't like it. Just because I can't stand it sitting there not getting any love. And, um, of course, I give things away. This one I've used once. It's the E Red Carpet Stella Palette. Now, here's why. It's a pain in the bottom to open. You do this, you do this, and then you pull down from the top. Now, and here's your shadows, and everything looks pretty. I never use it. These little ones are so tiny. Look at that, just your finger goes in. That's just, I don't know. I just don't use it. That needs some love. I'll find it at home. Okay, I know I'm going to freak a lot of you out with this one. It's called the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Compact Makeup. First of all, I disassembled it the way it was. There was like this little mesh covering over it. which I took that sucker out because it was in the way. And I went in with the sponge on my fingers. I did break out. I mean, I broke out. Y'all know not much breaks me out, but this did. It still has nice coverage, though. Still broke me out. Okay, an NYX palette called the Runway Collection. It's a tin pan. Now, all the dark colors basically come off blackish. They all basically look black. Just like every... The gold looks brown. Okay. But see? They all look the same. So, yuck. I, I, I want... When I have an eyeshadow, I want the color to be the color I see when I look at it. I don't want to stick my finger in it and find it and it comes off looking black. Black with a hint of blue or a hint of purple. Oh, the heck with that. Just give me some black if I want black. And give me my purple when I want purple. I don't want black mixed in it. If I want black mixed in it, I'll do it. I'll mix it myself. But don't give me a palette where it looks beautiful and purple or blue or a color you really want to use. And then you put that sucker on and it's black. That just frustrates me. This isn't the only palette. Where's the other one? Same thing. This is a Lorac palette. This one came out of, I don't remember what kit. Um, they called it the Rock Knight palette. Again, another palette. Here's those purples and blues. Love, love, purple and blue. Now, that blue is a dark, and so it's supposed to come out dark. The purple did come out, I was glad. The green looks black with some blue in it. It's just, here's a dark gray, looks black. That's just... No, again, why do you do that? I, 
I don't get it. If I buy the palette, it's because I like the colors I see. If I want a palette that is mixed with black, I'll buy a palette mixed with black. So there. <laughs> so I don't use these much. Did I show you these? Now these are beautiful colors from Pixie. Okay. This was the Pixie Glow Fairy Face Palette Tinkerbell. And that's precious. I mean just precious. And you open it up and the mirror has a little design on it which is cool. But everything in this palette is pure on shimmer. Not glitter, but shimmer. And um, even your blush is just pure shimmer. Beautiful colors. But you've got to have something with matte or you're going to look like a muddy mess. You put nothing but shimmer on your eyes, especially if you're 40 plus, chances are good you're just going to look muddy. You've got to add something matte and they're usually in your crease to even it out. So, so all the shimmers don't just mix together and just look like one big old mess on your eye. Do you know what I mean? Okay, that's what I mean. <laughs> Let's see what else. Y'all are going to freak because it's Mally. I don't like this Mally brush. I love the size of it. I love the metal because y'all know my dogs. I'm always dropping brushes. Here's one. And if it's plastic, uh, wooden, the dogs grab it. See right there? I just dipped it in some black paint because I love this brush. But this one's metal so the dogs can't get it, which tickles me to death. But <clears throat> this $3 e.l.f. brush is so much softer on my face than this Mally brush. To me, this one feels like I'm getting poked every time. I, and I've washed it, and I washed it with wind. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe it's just me. If you've had that issue with that brush, tell me. Because I was disappointed. Okay, here is a e.l.f. product. And it's called a tone corrector. I don't like it. Uh, I do mix it because it's a light, light color. I do mix it in when I need to lighten up a foundation or something like that, but I don't really use it. Um, another concealer is called Conceal RX Physician Strength, it said. You want to talk about a cakey concealer, you put that under your eyes and you're just going to cake up every line, crinkle, wrinkle, pore. It's going to show. I, I would advise against this. If you need a good heavy duty strength concealer, don't waste your money buying tons at the drugstore. Just get you a Laura Geller real deal. It works well. It really does. And it, it conceals. Um, here's an Ulta Eye Base. Oh, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Uh, it makes every line and wrinkle and crinkle on your lids and eyes show. I hate that. Here's the other Molly product. Um, this is that Poreless Perfection Skin Finisher. Okay, first of all, when you open this up, it's going to go everywhere. Well, I don't like that. And I feel like it's supposed to take away my pores, but I feel like it makes my pores show up more. Now, if that's not the case for you, wonderful, but it is the case for me. I'm not a fan. And that's okay. I don't have to be. Uh, my YBF. Okay. Love it. Gorgeous giant mirror. I don't know. I don't know. Eh. I use it for my eyebrows sometimes. This is called the uh, Dazzling Daytime Compact for Eyes, Lips, and Cheeks. Okay, so there's your blush, which is a fine blush. Your two lippies, that's kind of a brownish. And this one is, I like that one. Uh, oh, my fingers are so dirty for my shadows, I'm just making a mess. And then I like to mix this one and this one for my brows. But, I don't know. I'll be honest, I've maybe grabbed this a handful of times at most. Mm, it doesn't work for me. And, of course, there's the day palette. Now, I do prefer the day palette to the night palette because, for me, the colors are more wearable. But, again, I don't grab for it that often. Uh, I don't know. I, it's just not my thing. Ooh, 
darn it, it didn't break. It's fall resistant. <laughs> Excuse me, I've been sick as you can tell. Um, this is a Scott Vincent Borba, and this is a Foundation Plus um, skin care. Now, I hate these things. You grind it. You grind it. Ugh. Ew. The white is the skin care, and of course the brown is the foundation part. It doesn't work. My face burned. <gasps> My face burned. It doesn't work. You don't get any coverage, and... I just don't get it. It's not my thing, but if it is, yours, great. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it because I don't want people saying, I love that. How dare you say a bad thing? Because we all get very protective of items we love. Like, how dare you say something bad? That's a wonderful product. Well, everything's not going to work for everybody. So that's okay. Now, this is the e.l.f. Cream Eyeshadow. I don't know what color this is, but this is... Look, I just got some on my finger. It just chunks out. It's just... Ew. Ew. You can't even blend it out. It's just... Look at that. It's just stuck. Caca. Come on. Look at that. No. Oh. Now, I love some e.l.f. products, but that is not one of them. Oh, here's also another e.l.f. I don't like. I don't like glitter liners, but let's be honest, it wouldn't matter who this glitter eyeliner was from. I don't like glitter eyeliners. Um, so here we go. This is the cover stick, I think it's called, yeah, from e.l.f. Now, I've seen people say they enjoy these. It feels like you're just putting wax wax mixed with foundation on your face. I, I just think it's horrible. I really do. I think it's terrible. And people I've heard them say use it as a concealer. Why? You put that under your eye and you are going to be nothing but a mess. But it may work for you. You may not have lines and wrinkles and crinkles and things like that like I do. So it may work for you. But it doesn't work for me. Okay. Milani. These two particular... They're called Hot Flash or Hout... H-A-U-T-E. You can say hout, hot, hot, however you want to say it. It burns my lips and it hurts like a son of a gun. And uh, made me look kind of hookerific. So it wasn't my thing. Um, just, you look like you have a pink strobe light on your lips. I don't know if you can tell. Look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo. Boy, did I get comments when I wore this one time, and they weren't friendly. Those are the two colors. Uh, but when I put them on, they do burn like the devil. I don't know why. Oops. I'm dropping stuff. I'm talking too long. Okay, here's another one. Bare Minerals. Love, love this shade. Isn't that a gorgeous shade? But I don't pull it often. You know why? I'm going to put some on my... Because it tastes like Play-Doh or dirt to me. It's a lovely color. Yeah. See? That's lovely. But it smells and tastes like Play-Doh to me and dirt mixed in. So I'm not a fan of that. Okay. This is the concealer, but it comes in a tube like this. The Mally Blush, it's I think it's called the Couture Blush. And it's a liquid, and it comes out, and it's supposed to match your skin, and ta-da. On me, it turns gray. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, I don't like it. But anyway, so there's that. And then, here's a few little random little nothings. Okay, this Smashbox right here. It's Smashbox. I love Smashbox. You know I do. And I won't lie, these are some gorgeous colors. I'm going to swatch them if I can. I have so much makeup on my hands. There's five colors, so there's five swatches. This one's real powdery. And they're, they're fairly powdery. They're pretty. Let's see if I can swatch oh, my crooked arm. Okay, I can't turn it for you to see it. Anyway, so... I never reach for this because there's no matte in it. And I just don't like these colors enough to fiddle with them. I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. 
I think it needs a mat. I think I grabbed it once since I got it. Mm. Um, somebody said to get the Jordan online on the YouTube, get the Jordana Gloss Sensation Lip, whatever it's called, Lip Shine. I got it. It's disgusting. Let's put some out. Unless you like wearing glitter on your lips, stay away from it. I don't like glitter. I don't like glitter in my eyeshadow, and I don't like glitter in my lipstick. I don't like no glitter. I do like some shimmer. Like, like see this pixie palette? Look at all that shimmer. Isn't that cool? I mean, real. That's lipstick, Christy. Right here. The shimmers are gorgeous. I love them. But remember, you have to put a matte in there with them. Or again, you'll be a muddy mess. But if you just wanted to do one of these colors on your lid or something, that'd be stunning. One of those lighter colors. Lovely. But as a whole, I don't use it as a whole. Okay. Let's see. Here is a Elf Shimmer Gloss. I think it's disgusting. Here's a Revlon Color Stay, Color Stay Overtime Lip Color in Unlimited Mulberry. The lip color is fine. It's kind of drying, but then you put this gloss stuff on it. I'm making caca faces. I didn't realize this gloss stuff. It's 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 horrible. It is like putting a thick jelly glue on your lips. It looks horrible. If you can't do this, you, oh, it's, it's hideous. It truly, <laughs> so if they still have those and on the market, avoid it. Avoid it like the plague. Um, and then I have two, two items left. Now I know some of you love this, but it's Tova Signature I don't get it. I, I know. I don't get it. I know a lot of women buy this and love it. I should give this away in a giveaway. I don't get it. I just don't. I don't think it smells good to me. Well, I do know why. Okay. It reminds me of the librarian when I was like in sixth grade, she didn't like me. And uh, I bet that's why. That's probably why I don't like it, because it reminds me of a woman who was kind of a snot to me. So maybe, <laughs> so maybe that's not why I like it. <laughs> who knows? But it doesn't work for me. Um, and here's my very last product, and this would be a Mally Brow Beauty Brow Fix. Okay, something about you take this, and it's supposed to like. I love Mally, y'all know I do. But I do know as brows go, I've not met one person who likes this particular one. It's the black tube with the green writing. Now, I believe she has a new brow product out that people prefer, but I don't know anyone who likes this. And if you do, let me know because tell me how to make it work because it does not work for me. I just don't like it. So there you go. There are things I don't like. I don't like talking about products I don't like. It makes me feel funny. I just like to talk about happy products. Ooh, I love this and I love that. This now. But people request me to do this all the time because they say, well, we want to know what you think about it, so we want to know if we should buy it or not. Let me tell you something. You buy what makes you happy. If you don't like it, return it. If you go to CVS, you can return. I think you can also return at Walgreens. You can't return makeup at Walmart, I don't think. And you can return at QVC and HSN. Look, we all go on these videos and we say, Oh, you've got to have this, you've got to have that. But you got to remember, that's our own per personal preference. It's what we like and what we want. Because I may like something that you don't like, and you may like something that I don't like. And that's okay. We're all different. And it's just makeup, so have fun with it. Get what you want, what you don't like, and... Like I said, several of the products in here I purchased due to what I saw on YouTube. Because some girls said, oh, get this, get that. And I did, and I was like, oh, lordy, no. Mm -mm -mm. Not going to work for me. So, 
there you go. I hope your day is wonderful. Remember, I love you so much. And smile makes, look at my fingers. I'm do, I gotta go wash my hands. Smile makes somebody's day better because you sure made mine better. Have a great day. I love y'all. Bye-bye. It's not turning off. <laughs> it never does. I love y'all. Wait, this has got to be it.